hello 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 it is a late night podcasty blind buys hall uh i don't know what i'm doing here So how are you doing? I'm putting in a banner. So the people come in. And I'm not even going to stay on long. I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to be very podcasty. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa. I did a banner? What? I thought I was going to ticker this. Huh. That didn't happen the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Who's here? Hey, D'Angelo. Hey, hey. I don't know why this is doing like this. I don't know. It, I like the, stick, the ticker thing, but I don't know. I fucked it up. Okay, y'all. So I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Shouldn't you be asleep, sir? Shouldn't you be asleep? Just trying to make sure you are all good. I'm like, where's Valencia? Did I say Valencia? Hey, Valencia. Let's put on a little something on these lips. Make them cute. Let's make them cute. Hey, QM. So it took me a minute because, um, oh, okay. You know, you can watch this in the replay, D'Angelo. You can watch it in the replay. Okay. All right. So we're going to go live on, on the ball. So we're going to do a little blind buys. We're going to talk about them. I got some stuff to say. Some people going to be like, mm, I don't know now. I don't know now. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with the blind buys. We're gonna have a little blind buy the good, the bad, and the man. And we're okay, okay, okay. That's true. That's true. Cause cause YouTube sucks now and it doesn't let y'all see the chat or anything. Uh I probably will be live on Friday. I probably will. Hey, I gotta, I gotta put out content in order for for people to like me, for the algorithm to like me. So you know, guys, to put out your content. And so let's talk about the stuff that I have. And I think that I'm going to do a, a premiere tomorrow evening. So I, I, I was trying to, I was trying to like mix it up a little bit. So I just mix it up. Now I have to sit in this seat because this right here is very comfortable. I was trying to be kind of cute, but then I had to be comfortable too, right? But this right here, what I have on, mm -mm. this is booty cheeks and thigh meat. Y'all will not. Um, so I have to stay sitting. So I hope I have everything I want over here because <laughs> I can't get up. So, because I, because I, I, so I can't get up. So, let me just stay in this little spot, you know. <laughs> All right. So, you know how we start these out, right? So, we're going to do, we don't have, I don't have any bads, but I do have some meh. So, I have some meds that I'm going to, you know, I'm, I, you know, you just got to be real with the stuff that I'm like, it's all right. You know, so because some things just ain't gonna hit, just ain't gonna hit. So we're gonna talk about. Let's start off here. So we're gonna talk about the meds, and here's my first med. This is Athnon's rare passion. This is Athnon's rare passion. It is a med because it just. <laughs> 
um it just don't it's it's like okay it's a cute rose right right there's it's a cute rose but that's about it for me come on in everybody tiktok come on in it's a cute kind of sweet rose i like it but it's just it's not it's not like this really pretty rose that I would be like, yes, child, get it. And when I say that, I don't say it from the standpoint of what I own. I'm just saying it's just like, is it likable? Absolutely is. Is it something that somebody might want? Sure. But it's nothing that's going to go. <laughs> you know, it's just like, what? Well, okay, it is. Hey, D'Angelo. So it's just like, okay. Oh, so there's nothing on, so I should really go live. So y'all telling me I should live stream every day since the since the writer strike, right? Yeah, it's just a simple fragrance. It's nothing like, oh, okay, yeah, I gotta have it. Okay. Who gave me some D'Angelo? Thank you, thank you, some roses. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, thank you, pretty. Okay, so it's like, oh, it's just a man. Now my next man. I'm gonna need y'all to like. I go to like I'm gonna need everybody in this on both to say okay. Um y'all ready? Hope Honor and Glory by Body by Latafa. The body out oud. Honor and glory. I gotta be honest. At this point, it's just a myth. And here's why it is, and I'm gonna tell you why. I am it's got that Middle Eastern pineapple that just ain't doing it for me now. I know everybody else be smelling other things, but it's just really giving me that pineapple. Hi, thank you for following me. I, I mean, it's nice. It's okay, but it's just a mess for me right now um, because it just comes off like the fruitiness. It seems like it's got some oud in it. Okay, it's it's... It's a little spicy. Now, I'm going to give it some more tries. Thank you for following me. I'm going to give it some more tries and see how I really, you know, because I, 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 I am not one of those people who's like, if it's a mad, I still might turn into a love or a really strong like. But right now, it's like, it's okay. Let's put it back on skin. Let's see if it looks better by the time we leave because I got some good shit. I mean, like, by comparison to these other things that I got, So, okay, so, hey, Wendy, hey. Okay, so let me say this. I have let it sit a little bit longer. Okay, on skin, it is getting better. I'm going to say that. It's a little better, but it's got that, um, it's got that pineapple vibe that is not just like kicking it. I'm not going nowhere. JC, I'm, I just got on. You, you caught me right on time. So it's like, okay, at this point, honestly, either I'm going to sell it or I'll probably um, see like if DJ or something likes it because that pineapple, because mm, real talk, I just got rid of Lamar. I just gave that away for, because, and I'm finding like there's a certain way the pineapple is done that just is like, no, it's okay. Man, Sarah, instant crush is worth it for a guy. Absolutely. I don't wear it, but I think it smells love. I think it smells amazing on a man. Yes. Hey, Golden Light. Okay, so my next man, and I forgot I even had this. This is Harim Al Sultan, but it is the perfume edition. Y'all bet y'all didn't even know they had it. Oh, why am I so dusty over here? Uh -uh. I'm not even clear and crisp. Uh but that's because you got COVID, man. There we go. You got COVID over here. So, because COVID is a thing. So, we'll talk about that at the end. Okay. So, this does smell like Harim Al Sultan, but it is a perfume. It's not the oil. If you really want Harim Al Sultan, get the oil. Because this, as it dries down, kind of gets this soapy vibe. And it ain't that, it's not that attractive. So, it's a meh. It's a meh. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So it's okay. 
it's not wowing me. It's not making me go, oh my God, I've got to have it. I've got to have it. Yeah, this, yeah, the, yeah, that body aloo ain't doing it for me. It's not doing it for me. Hey, Jen. So, you know, I'm here to say that I, I'm going to say that it's a mess for me. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Let's talk about some things that we that are good. These are good blind buys, great blind buys. Even though I'm going to throw this in before we start the blind buys, I'm telling y'all this Assure. Y'all need to get this. This is one of the most underrated uh, amouages out there because no one talks about it. It gets absolutely no love. And when I say absolutely no love, but it is such, it's got that spiciness and this clear Fresh, beautiful. What are those? Oh, somebody's putting some money on my books. Money on my books. Thank you for that money on my books. Hey. Oh, that was a good one, wasn't it? But it is such a pretty jasmine. Oh, if you love a white floral, if you love jasmine, you know what this is? Like, for real, for real. This vibes to me like what honor woman was like honor woman of course was my first homage and that was a blind buy and i fell in love with it and it was like that's when i really was like oh my god i need these white florals this is another this isn't honor woman but it vibes like that it's giving me that it's spicy it's got a little suede oh it's so good okay let me see this one before i say if it's a man now. okay Yep, it's a mess. So this is a mess. This is Vanilla Ecstasy by Montal. I don't know why I bought this because I really want a sweet vanilla. But then I saw this and it had apricot and it had and it had just had a few more notes, right? So I said, okay, well, sweet vanilla is good, which I had smelled. I was like, it should be good. It's not doing it for me. I was like, okay, so it's got the apricot, right? Really? Oh, you got guidance. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, oh, this is a shore. I'm sorry. This is a shore by Amawash. A shore by Amawash. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful white floral. Okay. So it's, it's not it's not what I thought it was. I don't have Cafe Rose Paul, so I can't tell you. Um I was just like I should have bought sweet vanilla. You know, I should have won my first mind, but then I started looking at the notes and I was like, okay, so this has got the apricot in it, but it has more. So I thought it was just gonna be this like really more elevated, a little more sophisticated than sweet vanilla, because sweet vanilla is vanilla and apricot which is delightful and i should have stayed with delightful you know i should stay with the delightful side, side of it but no i tried to get fancy and then i fucked it up okay so that's vanilla ecstasy so it's a mud hi black lavender how are you sounds like this is oh i forgot to say hey tiktok make sure you follow me hit them likes and share it out so people See, like, okay, so I don't know what the new Cafe Rose is. I have smelled the original, and it was okay. Now, I know they have reformulated it. It's, thank you, Janice, for following me. But it was like, hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. All right, next up is this myth. Um... This is Myth Strawberry and Cream, Strawberry and Cream. Yeah, all their bottles feel empty, but they're not. They last. You, you keep spraying them. You'll know they got it in there. This does smell like strawberry candy to me. I know it's strawberry and cream, and people say it's really creamy. It does start to get creamy, but it's it, on the top, it smells like strawberry candy. Now, of course, strawberry candy is not the most natural smell. I know people are like, oh, it smells like a natural strawberry. It smells like strawberry candy, y'all. Let's not lie. Let's not, pe let's not try to make shit more than it is, you know? Right? <laughs> Thank you for sharing the live, D'Angelo. It's like, let's not try to make it more than it is. It's a really good strawberry and cream. So it's got the strawberry and it's a fragrance. So it ain't real strawberry. 
So it smells like really good strawberry candy. Like, you know, that strawberry, that soft strawberry candy that we like. Not quite as synthetic, but it's kind of got that vibe. And the creaminess, I think, gives it that candy-like vibe. As it dries down, it gets musky. The strawberry note kind of stays in it. So this is a good one. This is called Strawberry and Cream by Myth. So it does stay on. It's good. You know, it's, you know, it does stay on pretty good. This is out of Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you for the hand hearts. Am I into cherry fragrances? Yes, I am. But I'm not talking about those tonight. There will be another night for those. So this is, these are all blind buys, my recent blind buys. So we're talking about the blind buy haul. And it's not many, I don't think. I think this is, yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice. You know, it's nice. Um, I can't say it's similar to Burberry Herb because I don't remember what it smells like. Oh, so thank you for saying that. Somebody said that they love the chocolate one and they like the strawberry one. Um, um, it is strawberry cream. Strawberry and cream by Myth. Yeah, you know, but you know, it don't take much for folks to go crazy for stuff in these in these Facebook groups. Let's just be honest. Facebook groups, TikTok, and the, some of the YouTube, you know, people be going crazy. You be like, why? Okay. So, like I said, it is good. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is Rose Anonymy, the Extrait. Um... Somebody said it's more close to Yara than Burberry. So this is the extrait version. Not the regular cologne, but the extrait. So this is the Eau de Parfum. They have them on Jomo Shop. I think they still have this one. Under $100. I told y'all. $100. $100. You can't. People be acting crazy. It's $100. But anyway, this. Mm, this is for the Rose Oud Lover. You got to love the rose and oud with some frank, with some incensey vibe and some leather. You must like a baller fragrance, right? Um, what do they ship? I think it's FedEx. I think no, they they go through you you the post office. So it is for the baller in you. Don't to be coming out. You know, do not be coming out trying to just be chill, you know, and you just want to be in the corner and don't want to be bothered. You, if you are wearing this, you want people to turn around and look at you. You want people to be rolling up on you. You, because you're going to smell sexy as fuck. It is a sexy, oh, on a man, I know this shit. Oh, I know this smell good. Um, cause it, cause on a woman, it smells boss. It smells like I'm a motherfucking boss. Like I'm the boss of bosses. Okay. I'm the boss of bosses, but on a man, I do strange things for some change. If he was wearing this, I'm just saying strange things for change. He's wearing this. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Next up is this. Thank you for following Peter James. Okay. So now we have Foley Dune Soir. Can you see it? Foley Dune Soir. Um, lights are getting on it. Foley Dune Soir. Uh, uh, this is another kind of rose incense Ooh, but this has some amber in it. It's spicy. Now, this is a neat guitar. Of course, I have Nuit et Confidant, which is, um, some, see what I'm saying? Um, it's part of this one with the pom-poms, which has Tenue de Soiree and Etoile de Nuit. Right, those are very ladylike, 
you know, Nui et Confidence is this spicy, sexy, vanilla, very understated, very, very sublime, very ladylike, sexy vanilla. Et toi du Nui and Tenu, tenu de Soir are very powdery, elegant fragrances, you know, very iris forward, very powdery. And then they got this one. This is a total departure from the vibe of the other two, right? Other three. So the other three are very ladylike. She, this not a lady. This is a lady with bad girl tendencies. You know what I'm saying? See, she got a pom pom. It looks so cute on her. See, it's brown. It's got, she got her pom poms and they're cute and it's got the little scarf on it. But this one right here is a little more edgy. It is got the amber in it. Um, it's got the amber in it. It's got, you know, spiciness. It's got the incense. It is a, this, where did I get this? I got this. Where did I get this? Um, that's a good question, Peter James. Um, I either got this on fragrance net or fragrance by dot CA. I can't remember which one. Um, but it's a little, this is a, this is upscale, but bad girl. You know, this is this is a little edgier. She, this is this is this is trust fun. This is very this is lady who lunch, but you know she's got an edge. You know she's a, she, okay. She's a lady who lunches with her friends. You know, and they're having a good key key key, and she is sitting there texting her lover, talking about how she needs to be tied up and needs to get the blindfolds out when she gets home. That's what we're talking about when you're wearing this because she got some layers, right? She got some layers to her. So that's who we're fully doing soir. She's real sexy. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I make y'all feel did I make y'all feel that one? <laughs> did I make y'all feel that one? All right. Thank you all for following the creator. Make sure y'all hitting the likes. I don't have that many likes over here. Nobody, nobody likes me over here. Could y'all tap the screens? Okay, next up is Iris. Chopard's Iris Malika. Get it. Ah, there we go. Iris Malika. Right? Iris Malika. Now, it's an iris. And it has iris. But this is a more mysterious iris. This is a berry filled iris. It's definitely giving berries, but it's giving you some spicy berries. So she's a spicy filled iris and the iris is really gorgeous and but you get this really heavy berry but the berries are good because I don't always like berries but the berries in good in here are good. I've worn it. I was like bitch you smell delicious. You know when you be like how oh, you smell delicious. This is called iris malika and I can promise you ain't nobody talking about this damn thing. Mm. Hi, Tyler Fergus. It is O M G. There's a spiciness to it. It's a spicy berry. Hi, Jen Cat. Oh my goodness! Right, ain't nobody talking about this. I looked this up. I could. I think I found two people. I've literally. I did a search on YouTube. I think I found two, maybe three people who talked about this fragrance. Right. It is late. You know, I, I lose my damn mind. It is so good. It is the spiciest, right? It's a spicy, sexy, buried iris. Does it last long? Well, I'm an oversprayer. So well, let me say this. Hey, hearts, thank you for the, thank you for the love, D'Angelo. Let me say this. I am not the one to ask, does it last long? Because to me, I'm fine. Now on clothes, it stays on. I, I think I think we need to get out of this. It, it doesn't not last. It lasts more than two hours. Because if it doesn't last two hours, then I don't want it. I also will say this. I get anosmic to fragrances. I've noticed because I don't smell them, but other people smell them on me. So I'm not here to say that. Plus, I think we're worrying too much about the longevity. Because, you know, the longevity is about the fixatives they put in there. And I don't want them putting that many fixatives in it. It's just me. I don't need them to make it to last for 18 hours on my skin. I just don't. Because then I'm worried about what they're putting on my skin. I'm just saying. Um, 
Because that ain't about the fragrance. It's about the the fixative they put in it. And I'm okay. Be light-handed with that. Be heavy-handed with the fragrance, light-handed with the fixatives. I'm okay. Mm. But it is a iris. It's powdery. It's gorgeous. It's spicy. And berries on the top. And you still get the berries. The spiciness tones down. But you get this buried-up iris. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, Iris Malika, if you are an Iris lover, if you like powdery fragrances, and you want something a little different, honey, that's what I'm talking See, that's what I'm talking about, Tyler. Just spray it again. We get these big-ass bottles. I, 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 I'm about to jump on my soapbox. Let me get on it. I just don't understand this culture, this fragrance culture we're living in, right? I just don't understand the fragrance cu culture we live in. So let's have a minute for the fragrance culture. For the culture, let's have a fragrance culture conversation. And I'll go back in on the last ones because I got some good ones. Oh, I got two more. The fra the culture of... <laughs> Thank you, D'Angelo. Thank you. Um, um, it's got to last 18, 17, 18, 19 hours on you. It really doesn't. And then here's the conundrum of it. People want to put dents in these and say I've used it, but then they talk about, but then but then they don't want to spray it too much. Spray with motherfucking abandon, y'all. Spray yourself with abandon. Dampen yourself with your fragrance. <laughs> Dampen yourself with your fragrance. And, re and if you need to do it again, get a little decant, a little sample, put in a sample or decant and spray again if you want to wear it some more. It's okay to respray. I don't understand how we got in this space where it, be it has become, you know, like, oh, don't respray. When did it become like it was some type of, you know, to respray? I'm confused. I'm I'm so confused on that. It it just makes no sense to me. Right? I'm buying a for I got this big old bottle, but right, it's like, you know, just do it. Right? Just put the fragrance back on. Or if you want, go to the next fragrance. You know? Spray with motherfucking spray with the branding. Oh, because I'm just, because that's always, is it long lasting? Damn. But then you get the angst about owning all these. I'll never go through. It's all right. It's okay to respray. So it's like, it's okay. It won't hurt you. Right, bathe in the perfume. Cause I know when I leave in the morning, my, my clothes is a little damp. If your clothes ain't a little damp, they gotta be drenched. But if they're not a little damp, what did you put it on for? Cause we were like, guys, I only need three sprays. Well, you take your little miniature spraying behind on. But me, I'm doing at least 15. Because when I walk, that fragrance better come back, better be behind me. When I walk, that fragrance better be walking right behind me. It better be three steps behind me. Like, you know, they used some, like them Asian men used to make their wives walk three steps behind them. It better be three steps behind my black ass. And that was not racist. I'm just trying to give y'all an, il an illustration. Okay, because somebody be like, Shut up, that, 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 that. No, I was just giving you an illustration on what I mean. I hope that, I hope you got the illustration. Gonna keep tapping and give me some likes. It is too many people in here not to be liking my stuff. Okay, I'm just saying, you know. And the thing is, and but then on the but but then the other thing is, and you have and then you have them being angsty. I have so many fragrances, and I'll never use them up. You know why you ain't never gonna use them up? Cause you ain't spraying them. 
Then you got the people who spray in the air to prove that they do it. When it's coming and going, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for sharing Ridiculously Favorite. Thank you for sharing the live. I'm just saying. Right, it's like 20 people here and ain't nobody saying they like it. I guess if I was doing NPC, hey, y'all. Hello. Can I do that? See what I'm saying? I feel a little dampness when I leave. I'll be like, okay, I got enough on because I feel it through my clothes. I ain't buy all these damn things to be, to be gentle. I didn't buy all these fragrances to be saying, oh no, right? <laughs> That's what, put her in her place, Wendy. Don't let nobody mess with you, okay? Thank now I'm seeing some likes. Can, can I get some likes? Okay, so I'm just saying, okay? You know, just being all like, you know, you want to smell like roses? There's so many things. Go go get your roses, Vinny. You want something? See, here we go. I just said, don't ask me about long last shit. You know? Mm -mm. So, go ahead and just spray with abandon. Spray it and sp it's okay to respray. We have decided it is okay. That's our mantra. It's okay to respray. It's okay to respray. Say it with me, everybody. Say it with me. It's okay to respray. All right. <laughs> That's what you would have said. It was, um, which, uh, um, what the time has had the most siage? Hmm. All of them. Um, whatever you want, spray it, and they all gonna give you some sillage. The ones, I mean, the only one that I would honestly say really doesn't is Ensemble Gold. Everything else is pretty strong, right? Right. Right. It is okay to overspray 180 percent. You know, and then you're going to feel like you've done some damage on your bottles. Okay, let's do some damage to these bottles. Let's do some damage. Hey, Sonny, let's do some damage to these bottles. Let's make them, let's make them rain, baby. Let's make the fragrance rain. Make the fragrance rain on you. <laughs> you know, make it rain on you when you're wearing it. Honey, child, please. Okay, so we have the one, two, 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 two. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, I got these two more. I got two more fragrances. Where I'm off my soapbox. D'Angelo, stop doing that. Hey, love more. Hey, less. Thank you. Okay, so Joma Shop, the devil that it is. Joma Shop is like a devil that lives on my shoulder. Now, because you know I've had wood jasmine for a while. It just sits right here. I try to avoid it, but it's like it just be like poking me in my neck. Joma Shop, or am I the only one to be getting poked in the neck by Joma Shop? Because I be trying to be like good. I'm trying to get good, right? You know, and then Joma Shop with they with they damn pricing be taking the goodness out of me. Take the goodness out of me. You know. Get thee behind me, Satan. But see, he get behind me. Joma Shop Satan get behind me and push me fucking forward. Right? Get on my nerves. So I have been trying to avoid this. Right? I was trying to. I was trying to. I was trying to. Who? Oh, my goodness. I, You know... I was trying. I said, I don't need this. Fuck this. It was at a hundred and one oh nine ninety nine. I was holding firm on. I'm just I'm not buying nothing else. Fuck you, Joma Shop and a firm. Cause see a firm be here's the thing. I got a I got a two I got a two for over there. I got Joma Shop and a firm. Cause when that a firm might not let me buy nothing else, but they got so, uh, Joma Shop be like, bitch, you better let her spend that money. Right? Right, you know. 
So between the two of them motherfuckers together, they be like, oh, you you gonna get some shit. So I have been avoiding this one on nine ninety nine. I said I could do. I'm not doing it. And then the motherfucker went down to one on six ninety nine, and I said, damn it, just get the damn bottle. So I got Tuberose Imperial by BDK. Right? I mean, I was really trying my hardest. I was trying my damn hardest. I was like, you don't need another tuberose. I don't care what they say. You don't need this. But see, the problem is, can I give, okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to give y'all a real Joma Shop moment that this is when you know you just fucking tripping. Y'all ready? So one day, you know how you put in, you go on Joma Shop and you do the, you know, you, you go to look at the fragrances, right? And they pop up. Well, all of a sudden I said, let me do a filter. And I think I did recommend it, right? So I did recommend it. And for some reason, when I did recommend it, well, thank you for the hand hearts. They, oh, look at you, give me to the go. When they did it, thank you for money on the books. Money on the books. D'Angelo's always putting some money on my books. Money on my books. Money on my books. D'Angelo's putting that money on my books. So anyway, let me just tell you how this went. So I get on this recommended and for some reason it was showing me stuff I had never seen on Joma Shop. I'm telling you, if you do this, it will show you all kinds of weird things, inexpensive things and everything. Stuff I didn't even know existed. For instance, I didn't know there was as many flankers of, Olymp of Olympia, Olympia, whatever you say it, by Paco Rabanne. I knew there was Olympia. I knew there was the intense version. I knew it was like three or four of them. I had never heard of one called Floral. I had never heard of one called Onyx. They've got quite a few of them. Another one that I found out. I found out there's more of those Bulgari Omnia ones. I saw some that I had never seen them before. I was like, where did these come from? So then I got intrigued. Now I did, and then I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. <laughs> Shut up, Jordan. See, you about to make me say something ignorant. Okay. Right. Blooming legend and all these, right? So I sat there throughout Saturday watching TV, chilling. You know, I'm just chilling. And I'm just scrolling and scrolling. Y'all. I scrolled so much, I got to the sold out. And put a bunch on my wish, wish list. Right? I have never tried to dish your side effects, so I can't tell you. I was like, why y'all playing with me? <sighs> but anyway, let's talk about Tuberose Imperial by BDK. So go and do that and get sucked in like I did. This is a beautiful, beautiful tube of rose. I didn't think I needed it because we know I own way more tube roses than I ever needed in my life. We you know, you know, I could, I wonder how many days I could just wear tube rose fragrances. I could probably go almost a month just wearing tube rose. I could just go do tube rose. It started out late at night, then it bled into the day. Because it was like 6,000 fragrances I went through. I was just going through them. I finally said, oh, okay. Oh, yes. Or a fragrance can get you caught up, too. Oh, no, you're not. Oh. And so when it hit 106.99, and then I found like a, a little... I think I found like a $6 coupon or something. It was something crazy. But I wound up paying hardly nothing for this. 
That's why I said it was terrible. I went through about six. I just scrolled through six thousand. I just kept going back to. It. I was so intrigued. It was like every time I was just sitting there, it was like one of them lazy Saturdays. And every time I was just sitting there watching TV, doing like this. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Okay. So anyway, this is a beautiful, real sexy tuberose. I mean, tuberose is sexy in itself. <clears throat> But this is sexy. It's kind of got that. It's it. Real talk. It's not the same. But you can tell this is BDK from the two I have because this does. This and Wood Jasmine are similar. They don't smell super similar, but they giving them same vibes. You know, they this this is. This is a tuberose, not for the, you know, because like, I have my well-bred tuberoses, you know, like love tuberose, honor woman, wild python, even narcotic venus. They're well-bred tuberoses. Hey, Melissa, she's not well-bred. She's well-bred. Like I said, you know, she, she well-bred with a little skank in her. She's well-bred with a little skank in her. She's giving skanky vibes, honey. She's like. You wear wild python right now. That's a well-bred fragrance. But she got a little skank in her. She got a little skank. She got a little. You know what I'm saying? That's my move. You know, I don't twerk, but I'll be like, hey, hey, hey. She's that girl. She's not gonna go full twerk, but she's gonna be like, hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm talking about. She got her hands on her knee. You you felt that knee pop. Then you you felt that thigh. I hit that thigh. And it was like, hey, 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 that's who two girls in period is. She's that well bred with that skank in her. She right, she knows how to turn it up when it's time to turn it up. Right? You know, just a little backup. She just give him a little. You know, she got to tune it out just a little bit. She got a little skank in her wearing her two girls. Because she gonna let you know she well bred. Right, the tuberose. This this is going to say I'm well bred, but it also gonna turn some hairs like skanking her. Now this is a brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. Let me drink some more water. Let me take a little hydration break. Everybody, go get their water. Hi, Silver Singer. Somebody just said over here, I just found, discovered Spice Bomb. Where have I been? Right? You need a little skank in her. Well, Wendy, wait up because I am going to have a sample sale. So remember, a sample sale is coming. I might be working on it this weekend. You know, we're going to... Um, we're going to do... I'm going to be doing sample bundles. We're going to have some sample bundles coming, honey. I just got to figure out what I'm putting in the sample bundles, but I'm sure I'm going to do a tuberose bundle. Wouldn't that be cute? A little tuberose bundle? With some of my favorite tuberoses? I have samples that I can do, but I'm also going to do. Um, um, when I do the sample sale, I usually announce it and then you know to come in and I'll tell you what time I'm going live and that's how you buy them. Oh, do a Jasmine bundle. Okay, so my, my Discord people, well, let's work out the, the bundles I'm going to do. So I will announce it, let you all know it's coming. I'm probably going to try to work on it this week and do it next weekend. That'll give me enough time because I do want to do. Here's the things I'm thinking about doing bundles. Y'all can. We're gonna have a minute before we go to the last one. See how I'm doing this? I'm weaving in shit. I'm weaving in shit. You know, I can definitely do an oud bundle. So I could do notes bundles first. That would be kind of cute. Just make it all with notes with favorite fragrances, and then the next time I do it, I could do like houses. <gasps> May you suggest a whole bundle, and we can do a whole bundle. My for every hoe, a whole bundle for every hoe, for the classy hoe, for the skanky hoe. <laughs> okay, 
So we could do like a vanilla bundle. I could do some vanilla. So I could do so we could do different months. We could do tuberose. We can because I was gonna do a Mancera bundle. I was gonna do a Dream House Curio bundle, but maybe I'll do those on the next round. Right? So then we'll have, you know, a man well, so this time I could do note bundles. Would that work? Right? So we'll do Right. See, see, I go through the phases too. So, okay, let me work this out. So this time I'm going to do, you know, so I'll do note bundles. So, and then the next round will be some Mancera bundles and then we'll do it like that. That way I can, and it helps me to focus on how I'm going to do this, um, for this, right. Because I was like going back and forth on how I, how I was going to do it. So I'll do, and I'll try to do two of each bundle just to make it work. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going. Do you know how many Mancera's I own? Of course, I'll do a Mancera. Mancera will be on the next go, go round, and there might be some Mancera's in here because, like, wow, huh? right, right. So this time we'll do notes. We'll do tuberose, rose, oud, <laughs> um, and I will make sure I put in some really interesting ones, um, jasmine. Maybe a, van a vanilla one. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'll work on that. So I have a certain amount of different notes bundles to go. Um, and if I feel like I don't have enough, then maybe I'll start hitting my um, iris bundle because I do have a lot of iris, right? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't own God of Fire. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll hit my and start hitting my large houses. I'm just letting y'all know. Ain't getting no there will be no Mason Lancome bundle. I just tell y'all that right now. Y'all, somebody was selling Irish Drage and I missed it. That's the last one I really want. I was sick. Oh, I missed it. I was mad. That's my unicorn. That's my late. That's my new unicorn. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with being a skank. So here's the last one. Yes, they're the discontinued Lancomes, the Mason Lancomes. Cause there's, you know what. I would not want to do the Mason Lancomes because they're so hard to find. So all they would do is upset people. You know, doing the Mason Lancomes would upset people because they'd be like, I can't get Parfait de Roses. Why can't I get Roses Verberanza? Oh, I want Tuberose Castain. Thank you for following me, April. I would be, so we're not going to do that to y'all. I'm not going to do that to y'all. I'm not going to hurt your soul the way I could. Because it would hurt your soul, baby. It would hurt your soul if you got in and couldn't find it. I'm sorry. And these people losing their mind. I saw somebody selling, listen, Alien Essence Absolute. I still got mine. And ain't nobody getting it. Because, huh, I like it. I like it. But these motherfuckers are selling it. Honey, I've been seeing people sell. They selling them thirty mils of Essence Absolute for two fifty and up. I was trying to like in my head, you know. Uh, uh, I don't have Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, in my head, I was trying to figure out pricing because you know how you see people do these things, like. My $25,000, you know, um, fragrance collection. I'm like, oh, okay. So I came up with something that was kind of, I said, this is how I would do mine. So here's how I would come up with my number. Because I was like, what would you what would you value yours at, you know? And I'm not saying it like, you know, I'm about to like, be like, oh my God, I'm just, I'm balling. I'm rich, right? Uh, let me cancel that. I'm not saying I'm, you know, oh, because, you know, people be doing the flex. So, um, I was thinking, so I said like this, I said, so, you know, I got a lot. We're just going to, um, so I said for my luxury and niche, 
let's say on average $100. And I know I'm lowballing it. I know I'm lowballing it. But on average, um, right, okay, uh, I have, um, you know, so if I say that, I take 100 Let's say it's about 300, um, 300 or so of those. So that's 30,000 right there. And we're going on average 100 because we would say, because, you know, somebody can get under 100. And this is what I pay. We're not even talking retail. We If we get into retail of this stuff, it's, you know, come on now. Right? You allow, you, you, because you buy them things. Um, and then if I say take the other 200, which are my affordables, let's say that's around $30. So that's about six. So I want to uh, conservatively, this is about 36, 36. I don't even want to say that out loud. loud. Never mind. We're done with that conversation. I don't understand how people say that and feel like, <laughs> Like they say it's something. Whoa. Well, let me just say this. You know where we right? Exactly. Right. So we just gonna leave. We just gonna leave that alone. So so right, I need to sell some bundles, honey. I need right. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that math in my head. Y'all know I'm a math person. I was like, oh shit. Um, let me let me get them bundles going out. I need to. Bring, we need to put that back. Whoa! Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let's go into this last one. This one I feel good about, though. I feel good about this bottle. Woo, choo, choo, choo. Now I did the real man. Right, and I that shit almost listen, I'm just doing a quick calculation almost took me the fuck out, y'all. Okay, right? 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 Okay. So let's go back to what we're talking about. So, <laughs> right. Right, I'm about to, I'm about to have to bring these bundle prices up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. I'm thinking, okay, let me real talk. Let's real talk it out. I'm thinking if I do two, I'm going to do a two mil bundle and a five mil. Does that make sense? Because then there's some people who are who just want to do a small amount, and then there's the ones who want to do have the five mils. Does that make sense? So I think that's how I'm gonna do it: two mils and five mils. That way, people who want to get a little more can buy this bundle, and then the person who wants a little, they get that bundle. I like it. I like it. Okay. So anyway, this bottle, right, only cost me eighteen dollars out my pocket. Why? Because I use them ultra points. Some ultra points came through, y'all. It came through. I was like, yes, let's get it. So here's what we got. This is, I'm going to show y'all the box so y'all can know what I'm talking about. This is Givenchy's La Entre de Rouge Ultime. Rouge Ultime. So this is the brand new La Entre de. Um, and I looked it up. This is by Dominique Ropion, Fanny Ball, and somebody else. Now, it is, if you look at it, it is not the same color as the original rouge. The original rouge is that deep ruby kind of red. And this is more of a blood red. So this is more of a blood red, right? Now, different notes. Um, it's got cacao in it. It's got, uh, what's the other notes? It's got vetiver, it's got patchouli, it's got um, something else in it. I can't think what, I'm, what else. So, anyway, 
So here's what I'm going to say. It has that La Entre D um, um, tuberose, right? So you can tell that this is part of the La Entre D line. It is nothing like Rouge. So if you're thinking it's going to be just like an uh, a amped up version of Rouge, it is not. It is not spicy. What it is, it has this kind of airiness to it. I got to be honest. So before I go on, um, I love it. I absolutely do love it. I think it smells amazing. As it sits on, it becomes real. I guess it's, it's kind of, um, you do get a little chocolatey quality to it, but not a lot. But it, I think it's like the, the cacao and the patchouli. But it's kind of got this clean edge to it. It's and I think the vetiver gives it a sharpness. So it gives it a little sharpness. I, I think it has some spice, but it's not ginger at all. I can't remember what spice it has in it. So it's a little spicy. Ugh, but it is so beautiful. I really do like it. I wore it the other day and I was like, damn, I smell good. But it, like I said, if you are looking for it to be, which I wouldn't want it to be, I wouldn't want it to be just another rouge. You know what I'm saying? Because then that would be the problem. Now I'm going to tell you, I don't think a lot of people are going to like this. I don't think it's going, no, I, I don't think it's cold. <laughs> but it has like, when I smell it, it's more, it's got, I know the vetiver gives it a sharpness. Um, Oh, I just sprayed this all over my hand. <laughs> what lotion would I wear with this? Pair with it? I have Tuberose Body Butter by Perlier. Which, by the way, Perlier is having a 40% off sale. So y'all need to go and get on there and get your stuff. Um, Perlier makes a the best. Hey, Mark, if you're looking for something to pair with Tuberoses, go, go to Perlier and get the Tuberose Body Butter. You cannot go wrong. So yeah, it's and it wears long. Mm, it's really good. So what happens is it is kind of sweet. It's giving you because it's got the orange blossom and things. So it gives it that sweetness, that sweet tuberose, but it doesn't last. It becomes it it morphs into like almost this kind of greenish vibe on me. Who is good? Yeah, so I really do like it. I don't think this is going to be something that is popular. I don't think anybody, they're going to be like, you got to put water so loud. He's like, hey. Um, I don't think anybody, you know, this is going to be like the next thing. Everybody's going to be like, fuck Rouge and get this. No, I think this is going to be something that you need to, if you like tuberoses, go smell it. Because it is a, quite an interesting and different La Entre D. So like Melissima you know, intense rouge, they all are a little different. And this is definitely different from, from it. So, mm, yeah, I'm really loving it. Oh, so talking about Perlier, honey, let me tell you what you want to buy from Perlier. Perlier is having a sale, 40% off. <laughs> so here's the things you can, you always want to get. Get the shower creams. You want to make sure you get the shower creams. Don't get the foam baths. Those are, mm -mm. you want the shower creams. Those shower, the shower creams from Perlier are so luxurious. They are so softening to your skin. And let me tell you, the, fra the fragrances stamp on your skin. If you want, get that tuberose one, get it. If you wear tuberose, get the tuberose body wash, get the tuberose body butter. I promise you, you don't even really have to wear tuberose if you put that on. But they're so luxurious. Um, one of the things, if you're looking for stuff like if you wear, if you got pear fragrances, they have a really good pear body but body mousse. They have a really good pear shower cream. I like the apricot one a lot. Um, I have the one that's the white milk or whatever it's called, latte one. That's more if you just want a clean one. 
you know, if you just like really want something that's kind of clean smelling and you just want something like that. So like, say for instance, if it was like a family, because you can hi Andrea, cause they have, you can get 40%, but I will wait to get the big ones until they go 50% off. Cause you can get the big ones for like a uh, family, get the big ones. Cause they do last. I like the, Oh my God. Imperial honey is just fucking it. It's gorgeous too. So it's this honey one. So if you like honey, but it's it's a light honey, that's a good one. Um, the white musk. If you wear musky fragrances, go on and get the white musk body shower cream. Get the get it. Because the musk is so strong, it's strong and it's like that perfect musk to like wear with, you know, to pair with your musk fragrances, really nice, clean musk. It's really good. So that, you know, and any of the, um, get the body butters, their body butters are nice and thick and just, you know, they penetrate well, your skin is soft and the scent is insane. They're, they're very, they're very, um, well scented. Oh, but let me show y'all something else I got. Um, so here's this one. This is, um, yeah, I've been in a musk mood lately and I've been in a Santal mood. So here is my trial for, this is my body oil that I'm working on that I've made. I'm going to, the next I got to work out how much of the scents I want in them. But this is Coconut Amber Osmanthus and Apricot. So this is a coconutty, ambery, creamy. Huh, it smells good. I'm going to add some more to it, though. So, yeah. And then I have another one that I'm work that I've been playing with. That at this mo moment, these are just for me, sort of. And then <laughs> it smells good. Yeah, so um, I don't know what I'm doing with these. Um, I'm just making them just to be playing with them because I wanted some oils of my own because I want to try it out and you know I wanted to see if I could do it. So this is mine. And then I have another one, trial five, and that one is cherry and smoke and tuberose and something else, some other stuff in it. So those are the two. Yeah, this came out good. I'm just going to intensify the scent. I'm just going to, when I do them again, I'm just going to intensify the scent to them because, you know, Say so ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Well, I am thinking about um letting people try it out for me, you know, see, you know, do samples of these too. You can maybe we'll have these, maybe these might make it into the sample sale. So this is a body oil. It's not just a fragrance oil. This is a body oil. It is in a nice base for your hands. If you can see, nicely sheened up. Um, have I ever thought about creating my own fairies? No, nah, not really. I make a body oil. I ain't going to make them. Because you, the... the it, that would just be too much. Hi, Lanika. It just be too much, you know. So these might make it into the sample sale. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah. So this is, but the coconut amber, I, I do like this one. So yeah, I just want to make it a little bit stronger. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. See, me making some fragrance oils, I'm okay with that. Trying to do a fragrance, that's for JC. That's for Vincent. That's for all these wonderful perfumers out here who really know what they're doing and they, they knocking them fragrances out. This is a little body oil that you could add that I'm, you know, want to put on to layer with. That's all. That's it. That's all. I say thank you for sharing the live. Thank you for sharing the live. Okay, so I think I've hit up everything. Oh, that. I tell you this. Did I say this one? Did I put this in the mess, y'all? The Harim Al Sultan. Hey, Sabrina. Did I put this in the mess? I, I, I don't remember saying this because I know I was going to. If I didn't, the Harim Al Sultan perfume is a mess. 
I don't think I did. This is a big old mess. Almost on board. Okay, I did. Okay, because I couldn't remember if I did. All right. Okay, because I was like, did I do that right? Okay. Because I was like, you know, I got stuff all over the table. So I'm like, okay so now we're about to start thinking about oh okay we're about to hit september 1st we can officially start talking about fall as far as i'm concerned and i think uh go to which latafo and to see if it's better um so oh and then for me i forgot i did get oriana and I don't think I smelled Oriana before, but of course, um, everyone says it smells like, um, because you know, I got this great deal. Woo, LaBelle had that great deal going on. And I honestly wasn't trying to get it, but at the price I had to buy. So it's a cute orange blossom. I will say, I will put them both on skin, but... And Sam Gold does smell like this. It really does. I I can't say it don't. You know. Um, so I'm saying that like if you if you have one or the other, don't get the other one because you don't need them both. You know, it's it's a uh, you know. But see, for me, and Sam Gold doesn't last that long either. So they're about the same. So, hello, Katori. We're good. We're good. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up, honey. You ain't late. You came when you could. So, yeah, that was it. So, now Bath and Body Works has come out with some new vanillas. So, I won't be talking about all the all of that until then. But we are getting ready for fall. So, now people can start talking about fall. Because I just be getting tired of people starting to talk about, like, fall. Like, seeing the Halloween stuff out in August. Hello? And I'm going to need people to understand how we're supposed to shop. Can y'all stop buying everything? Because you're not supposed to buy the stuff until the day after the holiday because they got to bring it down at least 50%. Could, I, could we stop that? Could you people please stop doing that? Because you're messing it up for everybody. You're messing it up for people. Because I should not go in on Halloween, the day after Halloween, and ain't nothing there. Oh, you got your fab delicious. I didn't like it. It didn't work on me. Right? And everybody and then everybody gotta go shopping early. I got to get my stuff. Make them put it on sale for God's sake. Thoughts on Honey Ooh by Montal is one of my favorites. I love it. Right? That's just can I please get me able to can I please could you please give me the the, the chance? To try it out. To get my stuff. Right? Um, do I have Mancera Tonka Cola? Yes, I do. And it does smell like that. Tonka Cola smells like a cherry vanilla cola. Right? Exactly. Right? It might make it into one of my, my um, bundles. Right, I'm like, whatever. So, I am, I, so it is getting that time, but I gotta be honest, you know, I like it hot. Because it get, because I just have this feeling we gonna be hit with a really tough winter time. I need to look at the farmer's almanac because I just feel like we gonna be hit with a tough winter time. So... <sighs> But I do have a lot of new fragrances, fall fragrances that I need to pull out and do my videos talking about because I got some, I got some, I got some, I got some. Oh my goodness. You know what? I got to go in here. You said like Fletcher, this is why Valencia don't make me ban you. Don't make me ban you. Don't make me ban you.
don't make me ban you, cause girls, you. you <laughs> right. So, so I feel like I need to get ready to like just sit in my house and drink tea and hot chocolate, cause that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm just. I'm, I'm just telling you, slow your roll, Valencia, because I know, because mm -mm, once you start saying stuff like Fletcher's Castoria, it's on. Okay, so R Rose's Vanille is good, it's good, but you know, I say wild python, but that's just me. I have not smelled the goddess super floral yet, so I cannot tell you anything about it. I do plan on. Right, I, right. You know, it's like time to get out the comforters, get my heaters going, because you know it's gonna be a heater type of. Some, I feel like it's gonna be a heater type of winter. I feel like it's gonna be a heater and long johns. It's gonna be a heater, you know, um, comfy, cozy. I'm gonna be living in my sweaters. That's what it feels like. That's what we're gonna be. That's what we're gonna be doing. Um, yeah, Amber Fever is good. There's so many of the good. If you want to see, I do, I have something on the very top of my page of my top 10 uh, man series. It actually has changed since then, right? See, that's what I'm saying. I, I got to enjoy the weather because I had this feeling. See, and then this was going to happen. And so we can't get in the spirit because you know how people do, right? Um, they be talking about golden light if I'm going to ban you too. Because then I not just talk about Joma. Somebody talking about a good deal on Joma Shop. Did I not just tell you that the Joma Shop is the devil and I'm trying to avoid the devil? You know, you're going to have that person back on here calling me a demon. I've already been trolled. I've, the, the, the trolls have already saying I'm a demon. Don't be like, and then they're going to hear me talking about the devil has been on my back. They're going to be trying to exercise my ass from YouTube. Stop it. Oh, y'all just, just don't like me like that. I see this. Just don't like me. Whew. Right? I need to get me a new pair of Uggs. Oh, here comes somebody asking me that question. If you could pick a perfume for the rest of your life, what will it be? It will be all of them. How about that? <laughs> I don't do those questions. I don't do those questions. <laughs> I don't do well with them. I'm too fickle. I'm not going to sit up here. If that was the case, I'd be getting rid of all of these and getting down to that one fragrance. I'd be, um, I would be one of those people, right? I would be one of these people talking about, it's time for me to get rid of all of my fragrances. I have got to. It's just time. I don't need all these fragrances. No one needs this type of fragrances in their life. No one needs it. And I'm going to get it down to all the way down. I'm about to, oh, we're about to have a whole reenactment. Y'all ready? I'm about to do the whole reenactment. It feels so good to be down to have gotten decluttered down to five fragrances. These are the only five fragrances that um, I don't have an LK, but I want it. Um, you know, these are the only five fragrances I ever need in my entire life. I feel so good to have unburdened myself from all those fragrances. <laughs> Three months later, let me show you my haul. Oh my God, I've got like 20 new fragrances. Oh my God, oh my God, I just, I couldn't help myself. The fragrances, oh my God, oh my God, I just, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> right? Right? Three months later, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed. I have to be honest. No one can, I, you can't use up all of this fragrance in a year, in your lifetime. There's no reason to have all of these. And it's a like, but it's not a strong love. <laughs> 
I know I said I loved it three weeks ago, but it's now, it's, I just don't love it that much. So I'm going to have to declutter it. I know I told you to go out and buy it because it was the best thing ever, but I still love it. I just don't love it as much as the hundred that I bought last month. So check my Macari because <laughs> Hi, Shirley Saxton. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a cycle. You watch this. I have literally seen somebody get rid of everything, get off of YouTube for six months, then come back with all the stuff they bought, and now they're decluttering again. I'm I was like, the bizarreness of this whole situation is ridiculous to me. I think. <laughs> But let me tell you something. Honestly, I think I I I gotta be honest. I think I shamed somebody on YouTube, and I feel bad because somebody who used to do the cycle, they would buy, talk about them. Oh, I love them, I love them, and then they get rid of them, right? I think I shamed somebody because I haven't been seeing them doing the declutters. Because because I kept saying this motherfucker like a cycle. How can you listen to people who declutter this this hard? I'm sorry. How why why are people watching them? Because, well, because I can't take you seriously if you always get decluttering. I really like and decluttering fragrances I love. Because I'm really trying to curate my collection. But then you keep buying. So then when do you so do you ever really curate it? Because if you are still buying, then how are you curating? The collection. How are you curating it? See, I'm curating my, you know, I'm trying to curate my collection. <laughs> I'll be like, not another curator, not another curator. Hey, but people watch this stuff because <laughs> good night, D'Angelo. I'm about to get off of here too because oh, I got to, I got to get off of here too. I act like I ain't got no fucking job, y'all. Okay, but it's just you know. Listen, I listen. There might be a day I decide that I should sell some of this shit, right? I've sold some recently. I'm going to sample it. Right? See, it's, a, it's all about the way you figure out how to sell it. My thing is that, now let me tell you this. And I'm just going to say this with all, all of the honesty there is. Hey, Leah Baker. <laughs> if you decant the damn bottles correctly, you're going to make more money off the bottle than if you just sold it. <laughs> saying now i am not saying i'm never gonna be a decanter because i had to say that because i used to decan i made a little cash off of them to offset the costing of them but but you know so doing what i'm about to do this is more interesting to me i give you sell a bundle we're got done and i do it again when i'm ready to and we're done you know and i'm not just stressing myself out trying to keep up with things and buying stuff to no but it's like, like, and here we go. Another reenactment before I go. Um, I I saw somebody talking about one Leah in a group. Let me see if I can find it and post it up. Okay, and I think it was a Zara one. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me let me do a reenactment. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. I am loving it. I have to, I have to, I've been wearing, do you see the dent? The dent is here. I've only had it for three weeks. Do you see the dents? I have been wearing it. This is, I am in love with this fragrance. It is, it is the best. I think this, this is signature scent worthy. 
This is signature set worthy. Six weeks later. Six weeks later. You know, it, you know, it's time. You know, I love, I, you know, I love some. You know, I do love this fragrance, but you know, I, I, you know, I, 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 I do love these fragrances. However, you know, I am curating my collection. And so this was, um, you know, it, it, it's time to let it go to someone else because it's really good. And I love it, but you know, I translation, it ain't that good. So, this one. I swear to y'all, have y'all not, have y'all not seen this over and over again? Where it's a it's some of them got a six week, six to eight week cycle before they declutter some shit that they said they love the fuck out of six to eight weeks before. See, somebody said this said this over here, and I do this too. I low key go back and look at people's old videos to see if they are flaky, and I do that too. When they start, when they do a declutter video, I try to go find this, you know, find videos when they're talking about it, just to see if this is because see, it's one thing if you like, oh, it's okay, like this, like I'm right now going, honor and glory is okay. So, so it might not last here because I might not decide I like it, right? And I will say some shit challenges me. I got a few here that's challenging to me. I'm still trying to bait them, but but it's like they be like, I just love this thing. Oh, I uh 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 Nike. Can we say this? <laughs> I'm about to jump on my Kayali soapbox. What happened to Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper? What happened to that one? What happened to Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper? Wasn't that the one that everybody loved last year? It's so good. It's so good. And v Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, Cocoa Bean. Whatever it is. Remember those two? What happened to them? I thought they were just the most stunning fragrances ever. What happened to them? Ain't nobody talking about them. How long do you think they're going to be talking about this Burberry goddess? Just saying. You know. I'm telling y'all now, let's see how many people have gonna be talking about because uh, what happened to Blanche Bet? This is the best vanilla ever. I could have sworn Blanche Bet is the best vanilla ever. I'm talking about the fickle people over here talking about fragrances. I thought Blanche Bet was the best. Yes, we are in the fast fragrance area. We are, you know, we because because let's just be honest. Like I said, like I said, right, the, right. We done with that. Now we on to the Ariana Pink, whatever is it called, cloud, cloudy, cloudy days, pinky nights. I don't know, um, but that's what we are. Because I'm just telling you, I don't say they. I don't think they bad. I'm just saying that people gonna forget about them. I'm saying that in a minute, everybody gonna forget about them. They gonna be like, "What? What?" That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything because I've never spelled Blanche, but I've never spelled Berry Berry Goddess. What I'm saying is, in a minute, at this time next year, ain't nobody gonna be thinking about the things. They gonna be like, "Huh." That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. I'm just, I'm setting y'all, I'm setting yourself up. I'm setting you up for it, cause right, but because I know I do it. 
Listen, I know I do it. I have to go back and look at stuff because it's easy to do it because you buy them all the time. So then, like, man, all this shit right here, you know I'm going to wear I want to wear it every fucking day. Every fucking day. <laughs> Somebody said if it ain't getting duped, it ain't that great. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I'm like, okay. Okay. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's just because last I could have swore last year Ani was the motherfucking business. Ani was, but Kayali for real is the color pop of fragrances right now, right? Because remember, every, Ani, even, ho, ho, but let me just say this. I love Ani. We know I do. But, like, even I can say last season, last fall, I wasn't wearing Ani that much. I was wearing um, Seta and Vanilla Silk more. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, that's why that's, right? Shut up. Oh, but wait, wait till all the people buy them. And then we got the Beyonce fragrance coming out that ain't nobody heard. Really, do we even, are there any notes out there about it? Because everybody banned it. I can't wait to get it. I'm like, y'all gonna be so disappointed. But then they gonna make it like it. They bet they gonna act like they love it because they gonna pay too damn much for it. But I'm not here to drain on nobody's parade. Go on and pay that money. Because they already bad, and I bet you it's sold out. And it's like, are we so goofy of people that we don't even see the writing on the wall? But right before she did, uh, right before, right before she and it, it's it was announced that she had a fragrance. She was seen coming out of Killian, and they were talking about her doing Killian. So now everybody's speculating that she's doing something with Killian. Or, 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 has it even released yet? Because doesn't it, it's not released until what November? And you know them people who love some bae because, listen, you know people love bae. You can tell these people, um, you can tell these people are really love bae. Because these are the same people, if Joma Shop take two weeks for a fragrance to come out, they will lose their damn mind. Right? They would be like losing their mind if they had to wait two weeks. Right, it's available for pre-order. But I'm saying, like, people wait, willing to wait. Do you know? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Oh, yeah, it's $160. She coming, for your she coming for the coins. I'm about to get out of here. Let me get ready to go to bed. Because I don't want to do like I did last night. I wanted to watch a show called Silent Witness, which is a English show. So, I, yeah. And they, they always have two parts. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't want to get caught. Exactly. She, it, and I agree with you, JC. She could. Right? <laughs> Somebody said she got to pay Blue Ivy dance fees. I can't stand. I can't stand that, y'all. I'm out of here. I am out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all. You have a good night. TikTok, you have a great night. The perfume hoe is out. All right, my old hoes, my OG hoes. I'm about to get out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to bed. Good night, good night, good night.